Welcome to this tutorial on how to animate a valve model using Maya. And in this tutorial, what we're going for is some very simple uh, animation effects. Uh, and this is based on a very comprehensive tutorial by Noesis Interactive. So I basically uh, extracted the, the key points from that tutorial and to, make, to enable us to make some very simple, uh, basic animation. So the effect we're going for is something like this. We have a component and we have a subcomponent which is this lever here and I want the lever to animate like such so the very first thing that you want to do uh, when you get started uh, with this kind of animation is you want to be able to uh, animate by hand in Maya um, if you look at the Noesis interactive tutorial they, they have some very sophisticated methods of rigging and using curves and handles and such uh, those are great uh, for sophisticated animation but for what we're doing here you can just use a simple uh, rotate tool to make sure that the piece that you want to animate um, rotates like you want by hand. So uh, what I had to do here is on this piece, I have two pieces. I have the main piece and a smaller piece. So the smaller piece, I can hit the insert key on the keyboard. And when you hit the insert key, it allows you to move the pivot. Um, so you can move the pivot wherever you want. If I moved it there, hit insert again. Now it's going to pivot about that arbitrary point, which uh, is not what I want. So what I'm going to do instead is hit insert and I'm going to move the pivot point back to the uh, joint that I want to rotate. And you'll see a lot of uh, tutorials talk about uh, skeletons and stuff like that. This is a skeleton. Uh, you don't need to make any special points. Just use your regular geometry. Move the pivot to where you want it. Hit insert to go back to rotate mode. And then check to make sure you can actually rotate it by hand and it functions like you want it to. Okay, now that we've verified that our animation is uh, working properly uh, by hand, we next need to make sure that Maya is set up to uh, support uh, animation properly. So I'm going to go to Window, Settings and Preferences, Preferences, and under Settings, I'm going to make sure that the up axis is Y, and I want to make sure that time is set to 30 frames per second in TSC. By default, it's something else, but make sure it's 30 frames per second that keeps it standard. Uh, with the Maya community. Then I go to the animation submenu. I want to make sure that auto key uh, is checked. And I want to make sure that my tangents are using uh, plateau and plateau. And then I'm going to go to the timeline, which is my animation timeline, to set my key tick size to 2. And I want to set my playback speed to real time 30 frames per second. I'm going to save that. And now we're ready to go ahead and set what's uh, called our keyframes. So you notice in the bottom of the uh, window there is a uh, time bar. This represents various uh, frames in a sequence. So uh, we're going to leave it set at 30. So basically this entire range represents one second because we have our timeline set at 30 frames per second. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify a keyframe at our default incumbent position. So right now I have the lever set up where I want it to start. I click on keyframe or on frame zero, then I go up under rotate Y, and I'm right click, right click on the words. First, I highlight the word rotate Y, right click, and I put key selected. What that does is it tells Maya to basically remember the position of only the uh, rotate Y value in frame zero. Then I'm going to go here to frame 30, and I'm going to rotate my lever to where I want it to end one second later which is right there. Notice that the rotate Y value changed and I'm going to right click again on rotate Y and put key selected. Now I'm going to just uh, unselect or deselect rotate Y. Now if I scrub my timeline, Maya went ahead and interpolated the intermediate frames between 0 and 30 so that my animation uh, is going to function properly and I can play that back and see what it looks like.